Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today we're diving into... Wait, 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 hold on a second. What? Who are you? I couldn't help but notice something. I think you're missing something crucial here. Well, what am I missing? Um, I hate to break it to you, but you have no hair! What? Howdy, how are you all doing today? I hope you're ready for a hair-raising adventure, because we're going to learn how to draw some fabulous hair, just like cooking up a delicious plate of pasta. Today, we have four styles on our menu, bangs, braid, bob, and curls. Now pause for a moment. Whenever you're drawing any type of hair, always remember to look at references. <laughs> They're like your secret ingredient to enhancing your skills. References are your best friends in the artistic kitchen. They help you understand shapes, textures, and styles better than any recipe book. The first step is to mark out the basic shapes and identify the starting point from where the hair flow will emerge. By finding these basic shapes, you'll make yourself comfortable and ready to learn the graceful flow of hair. Ah, let's not forget one crucial detail about hair. It's all about those layers. Just like the layers of flavors in a delicious dish, hair has its own layers that add depth and realism. These layers don't just sit flat. They fall in the 3D space, following the contours and shape of the head. As we sketch out these layers, imagine the hair strands cascading and flowing naturally in the 3D space. This is what gives our drawings that lifelike touch. I'm confused. What does this mean? If you're feeling a bit confused, don't worry, you're not alone. Let me break it down for you. Now let's take a moment to compare two hair sketches, one from 2020 and another from 2024. Notice the difference? The old drawing, while not terrible, lacks that wow factor. But look at the new sketch. It's much more dynamic and appealing. Here, as you can see the 3D box around the head. Let me draw it really quick. I'll utilize it to ensure that the hair falls at the same angle, staying within the 3D space. Notice how the hairline also follows the angle of the 3D box around the head, adding to the overall natural and cohesive look of the hair. It's important to determine the starting point from where the hair will flow. To indicate the turn where the hair falls, draw squares parallel to the head's square. These squares help visualize the direction and flow of the hair, ensuring a more realistic and dynamic hair structure. Don't worry, with practice, you won't need to draw squares to visualize hair angles. Eventually, you'll be able to imagine those angles effortlessly as you refine your skills. So, I hope these tips and techniques made sense to you. Let me know in the comment section below if you found this information helpful or if you have any questions. Your feedback and thoughts are always appreciated. Now let's get down to business and have some fun with all the information we've gathered. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw hair in three different art styles. You can choose any style you like. For this demonstration, we'll be using Jungkook as our reference. By the way, do you like Jungkook and his songs? I personally love listening to BTS, and these days and I've been crushing over 17, especially DK. If you know, you know! Our personalities match. Uh. I want to mention that while I'm demonstrating these art styles, I usually don't follow everything from the reference photo. Instead, I use it to find the flow and get inspiration. This helps me stay on track and quickly look at it if I get stuck in between. Focus on the tutorial, girlies. I know Jungkook is pretty, but we need to work. The first style I'm showing you is what I primarily use in my webtoons. This is how I draw hairline. I prefer this shape, but curves are also fine. Draw the basic shape as I showed you previously. I'll now open the border effect in CSP and sketch the hair strands. If you'd want to achieve the similar effect in Ibis Paint, the default brush set contains brushes with outside borders. We will continue to add layers upon layers of border effect strands to make it resemble hair. By the way, I have added Mew Custom Brushes and Ibis Brush in my Patreon. Uh, some are free, some are paid. What? If you want to get free brushes, you can follow me on Instagram, where I will be posting a DTWise challenge. And if you win, you will get my brushes and a commission for free. All the links are in the bio. 
I hope this audio is not irritating as I bought a subscription for it. Adding in the base color and again the border effect strands. Now add shading and highlights. And the art style one is complete! I like the way it turned out. What do you think? The second art style, uh, which leans more towards semi-realistic hair. In this style, we aim to make the hair look closely like real hair, but still maintain a noticeable drawing effect. Start by outlining the basic shape of the head. This provides a foundation for the hair to flow naturally. Now, let's add layers and details to the hair. Use varying line thickness and shading techniques to create depth and texture. First, we will color the base. You will see me adding strands in the base itself. In the multiple layer, we will color the shadows. Let's make it look more like hair. Now I am adding a second shadow too. As you continue to work on the hair, remember to add highlights and shadows. This adds dimension and makes the hair look more realistic. Keep practicing and experimenting with rendering techniques to enhance the quality of your hair drawings. Remember, practice makes progress. Now the most easiest hair drawing technique. This type of hair art style is usually drawn in webtoons, as it is time efficient. First, sketch out the hair and fill it in with the base color you want. Yeah, next, add a soft light of skin color to create highlights and give the hair depth. Finally, use cell shading to add shadows. And it's done! We are not done yet. There is another quick sketch of drawing curly hair. Here I will be using custom hairbrushes I bought from Akon 3D. Same process as before, but now I will need to go a little crazy. Well, curly hair can be complicated, but it won't be hard, right? Well, this was my first time trying curly hair, and I must say I was confused. Like it is so time consuming. Maybe there will be some tricks to make it a quick process, but for now, I just followed my everyday steps to draw hair. I started using these brushes, and I must say they are so good. If you want to try out hair brushes, you can download them at 1 to 2 Dog Diroj on Akon. And sometimes, it even sells these brushes for free or discount. Link is in the bio. By the way, this video isn't sponsored by Akon, but I won't mind if they do. As I use them on daily basis and will talk about it, a lot in my coming videos too. Shading was quite a work in this piece. I'm sure if I did it, you can do it too. Becoming an artist is not that hard. 
You will need patience and love for it, and the boat will sail on its own. Yes, here, you can see me struggling. Mix, mix, mix. Here is the final time lapse. <laughs> I hope this video was able to give you some more tips on drawing hair. If it did, make sure to specify which tip you liked the most in the comments. If you love DK or Jungkook, and if you subscribe to The Saturated on YouTube, I'll sprinkle some good luck your way and pray that you magically score a free ticket to a BTS or Seventeen concert. Thank you for watching! Bye-bye!